I was lucky enough to arrive in Saba 20 years ago. It was a fabulous experience. We saw marine turtles, we saw whale sharks. There was fish of all different colors and stripes and shapes and sizes. So there we were on day three, and then all of a sudden there was this huge sound. It turned out someone had dropped a bomb. So I came to Sava 20 years ago. I started Scuba Zoo, and since then we've been documenting the, the gradual degradation of the reefs um, from destructive fishing techniques, overfishing, and fish bombing, and it's been absolutely terrible to see. Fish bombing has been a problem for us uh, for, for a long time, and um, we are not able to locate the fish bombing immediately, and we don't have the exact location. The problem really occurs when you come to the next day and you have to try and get more fish. That patch that has been bombed will never produce more fish. The coral reef is of utmost importance to Sabah, not only because it's important to the sea, but it's important to the tourism industry. And last year, diving industry got us 384 million ringgit, which is a big sum of money. And all that will be gone if the coral reef is gone. Annually, the Department of Fisheries they take about six to eight cases of either fish bombing or fishermen caught in the possession of uh, fish caught by explosive. Once we catch the suspect, there's the added problem of proving in court that they are guilty. This almost daily experience of, of being bombed in the water got me thinking, and my background is, is in physics. Could we use detection systems based on physical principles to detect and locate where individual bomb events were going off. Was that going to be possible? And I thought it was. Two years ago, the chairman of the board of ShotSpotter told me he really wants to help solve the fish bombing problem. So he sent me the two papers that George Woodman and Ting Hoi had written. Then we contacted him and described how our system worked, and it's a marriage of his stuff and our stuff. I spent a lot of years on NASA programs, and I've been very excited to join ShotSpotter to fight a, an important problem, which is gun violence in America. 20 years, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, to take an idea and develop it into an operational system that can track gunfire in real time uh, to a level of quality that can be used in evidence in a court of law. The system has been deployed in many cities. The criminals know it is there. Gunshot incidence has reduced and has become an effective deterrent and a name to be feared. But also here they are interested in fighting fish bombing for purposes of you know, saving our reefs. With the new technology, we see this as a potential. This could be the answer after many, many years. Well, we know the technology works for detecting gunshots in San Francisco. Now comes the real test. Will it work underwater in Saba? Man. Got it again, Bob, within 10 seconds. Okay, yes, I see incidents on all four of our fixed sensors. Here's the sound arriving in four sensors that did the triangulation. The blast happened seconds ago, and to my knowledge, this is the first time that we've calibrated the location of an underwater explosion with GPS. We have a real system that works. It will be reliable. Um, locates the bombs really well and we can catch them. I'm very impressed with the technology. Uh, obviously a bomb goes off and then four seconds later it's up in the internet in front of the computers. Uh, we can make a decision straight away where we'll send our enforcement people. So I'm very impressed. This is what we are hopeful we can implement one day. Fish bombing is a worldwide problem um, and the groundbreaking trials we've just done here in Sabah are absolutely vital. But it's not just about stopping fish bombing, it's about finding sustainable alternatives. Alternatives for the stakeholders. Uh, they're just trying to feed their kids. Now that we have the equipment, we need to take it to the next level. And this is where funding is absolutely necessary. 
and we hope that we will able to get the fund so that eventually we will be able to solve the fish bombing problems, not only in Sabah, but in other parts of the world. This is our legacy to the next generations, keeping the coral reef healthy.